I can't talk right now because I'm taking oil, but do you think you could subscribe? I'm so close to 100k. Okay, bye. I spent 100 days in vanilla rust. And in that time, I did a 100-man rock fight tournament, flew with the best minicopter pilot, made friends, made enemies, farmed 100,000 sulfur, raided with a stranger, hijacked a car, and not once did I ever get raided in this singular wipe. So... Our journey starts on the outskirts of Outpost. Hey, man, what's up? Nothing much. What you doing? Not much. You know, just getting to start. Got, uh, you got any tools to help my brother out? Yeah, sure. Wait, uh, if you go wait and, uh, over in, uh, like, by the scrappers, I'll bring you some shit. Okay. By the, by the, all right, gotcha. Thanks, man. He said he'll bring me some stuff. Ooh. So I went into Outpost, recycled, and waited, still unsure if my mysterious friend would arrive. Dude, do you think I got scammed? Why did he, why did he scam me? It seemed like a shady fella. Although, I'm holding out hope. Maybe maybe he'll uh, give me some free stuff. Who knows? But, as fate would have it, my angel arrived. Oh. Is he here? Yo. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, you're the best, man. By the way, if you need any VPs, just at me in chat. I have everything. Like, literally, I've been grinding the past two days. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, man, I'll remember you. And just like that, I made my very first friend on the server. With the gun and tools that he gave me, I was sure to make something out of this. All right. Got some tools. Let's try and get a base up. It's looking up. It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. As I was running to my designated base location, I heard some shots in the distance. It's MP5. However, I ignored them and thought nothing of it. I want to build where the snow is kissing the grass. So that way, when I get to farming, I can easily get to the snow. And also, I won't have to worry about, uh, oh, there's a guy. Looks scared. And just like that, I was about to have my first fight of the wipe. It was a quick one. It's dead. Okay, okay. It's pretty good loot. Pretty good loot. Ooh. I had killed that MP5 guy I had heard just moments before. All right, second gun of the wipe. This is a good ass start, dude. After that, I put all of my focus on building my starters so I can deposit all of my loot. Building my base was going relatively peaceful until... What the hell? Um, I was not paying attention. Um, okay. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was... <th> <laughs> I was thinking what I was gonna do for the for the base builds. That kind of gave me a scare. I then upgraded my base fully to stone, depoted in some small wooden boxes, and left to hopefully get a snowball fight. However, that did not happen. What just happened? I ended up losing a SAR kit and an MP5 kit. I'm behind. I was down to only one SAR, so I decided to abuse the drone shops to get more guns. Go hit some sulfur nodes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna abuse these, uh, these shops. After hitting around 2k sulfur, I went to outpost, recycled, and browsed the shops. What can we buy? A thousand cloth for only 500 sulfur? Oh my gosh. If we ever need cloth, we should go right there. Out of what seemed like hundreds of shops, I found one deal that was too good to pass up on. Oh wait, this is actually really useful. Holy crap. I'm gonna get, um, we'll get 3,000. Along with that killer deal for metal frags, I also bought a beat up Thompson. This would surely come in handy for future fights. Afterward, I cooked some crude and made my way home. After depoting, I then did a quick barrel run to get some cheeky scrap. Looking good. I then went back out to farm more scrap, but while I was farming, I had noticed Chinook had spawned at water treatment. There is definitely people here, so I gotta kind of play it safe. I don't have meds either. This is, <laughs> this is scuffed, dude. I mean, it looks doesn't look that that crowded, so should be good right now. Oh, oh. Killed one. No way you went down in the tunnel, right? It's right there. We're good. Now, this wouldn't be a real Rust video if I didn't tell you to remember these names. These dudes come back later in the video, so just remember them. Nice, first one to the crate. I know I had to wait a pretty 15 minutes for the crate to unlock. However, while waiting, I was ambushed. Ow. Dude, I am low on meds. This is not good. Let me in. No. This is mega scuffed, dude. I, I am. Uh, no, this is not good. Oh, 
No, you're not meds. <laughs> this is so scuffed, man. Twice. Oh my god. I had died with basically all my loot. The only thing I had back at home was that beaten up SAR and well, I had no choice. So I took it with me to hopefully win back the fight. There's a very low chance of me winning this. Dude, there's so many, there's at least three of them. So this is, this is gonna be tough. Oh my gosh. With my last gun, I was luckily able to take out all three enemies, take their car, and the Chinook crate. This was a very successful run. However, the guys I killed were not happy with this outcome. There he is. See you later. See you guys later. Good shot. <laughs> They're mad. They're mad. While I was just pulling up to my 2x2, I had forgotten to clear the beds and check the boxes in the back. So I was in for a little surprise. Yo, what? Uh, well that's not good. I had parked the car 25 meters from my two by two and the guys I just screwed over had a general idea of where I lived. So I decided to move the car further away from my base to remove suspicion. That's not good. Uh oh. Although I did crash the car in front of a random base, so maybe they would suspect the base that wasn't mine? Uh, I don't know. After that, I depoted my score and went to an airdrop nearby. That was a very nice drop, I must say. But after making my way back to my base, I found a familiar face lurking around. Hey, what's up, man? You wanna see my base? What's I'm, in, I'm in that big base over there. I knew it was obviously my friends from earlier, so I tried my best to set them off track of my base location. Yeah, I killed some guy who had a car over here. <laughs> you want in this big base? I, ki I killed him though. Goes here, this big base right here. Anyways, man, I'm gonna go to Outpost. Uh, no. See you later. The, the, the guy. The guy. The guy lives in that base right there. Oh man, I gotta go to outpost. I'll see you later. <laughs> they, they, they want it. They want it so bad. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh no, dude, they're gonna raid me. While in outpost, I bought a jackhammer and tried to wait out their scouting, so I could safely depot in my base without raising suspicion. However, it seems that they found me first. Oh, he found me. <laughs> Hey buddy, I hope you have a lot of time to sit here. Since I was found out, I thought I would lead them on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Dude, they're mad. Look at this. Oh, he falls in here. No way. They're all chasing me now. This is so bizarre. This is actually so bizarre. Juked. Hey, f where you going, pussy? <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Oh, you can't get into the safe zone now. <laughs> They're so human. They're so human. <laughs> they are actually mad. Dear Lord. After one of them died to outpost, it seemed like they relented for just a little. So I took that chance to make it back to my base and depot. We are home safe from the bozos. Let's go. Although I think I'm gonna wait till it all blows over. Safe okay for a little. I waited out the night devising and scheming. As of right now, my only goal was to get more loot and well, survive. Chinook came back up, so I went to go take that again. However, this time I was a little bit late. I'm in a tight spot right now. This ain't good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bolt in this kid. Watch this. <laughs> Later. The Chinook run was another giant success, but as I was running home, I got into a little kerfuffle. I'm naked. Hey man, come out here. Where'd you come from, man? It's all I have. 
Just found it like a minute ago. Yeah, man. I mean, just keep your keep your pistol. It's all good. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. Peace out. After that interaction, I met my second friend on the server, Pharma. I then went to train to recycle. I I just don't. Want to talk about it. Another successful run. I then bought some Ortiz and found a decayed base nearby. Ooh, is this gonna be loaded? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is kind of an L. Yeah, that's just fully looted. Cringe. I then heard some shots nearby, and guess who I ran into? Yeah, what's up, man? It was my friend Pharma. Hey, what's up? You know who's out here killing nakeds? There's a kid over here. He just keeps shooting me. I see them. They're in the water. I think they're in the base. Yep, yep, yep. Do you have an extra gun? Um, I don't. I only have this bolt in time. But if I kill one of them... Um, oh shit. Dude. With that L, I was introduced to the most dominant clan on the server. They were called 123, but they're not that relevant to the video. I then took a gun to a fight nearby, but died, died again. Dude, that guy's the best player! And then died again. Dude, like what? But just as I was about to give up, this happened. I'm good and it's good. Yeah, no, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. I need this W, please. I'm leaving, I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone. After getting out, I stashed some of the loot by my base and ran back quickly. All right, gonna loot this guy and then I'm gonna scoot. Nice, still here, baby. I was able to profit a lot from that run. My boxes were looking really juiced. After depoting, I went back for round three. Damn, this boy, hell, man. Things are starting to look up, boys. Things are starting to look up. I then got into another fight against a random AK kid. What? What? What just happened? Yeah, that's a lot of juice. That is a lot of juice. Oh my. Freaking rats. I just had very successful runs back to back, and my boxes were getting pretty full. My little 2x2 wasn't able to fit at all, so I planned on moving. But before I could do anything, I went to go counter Bradley. There it is. Oh, dude, these crates are trash, man. Well, that was a pretty bad Bradley. Now that I made it back home, it was time I fully commit to my new base. So I started farming. I then bought some wood at Outpost. Whoa! 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 Dude, it's the Outpost. It's the Outpost cracking. <laughs> Every Outpost Whoa. has one. Whoa! Interesting. You are a solo. This is interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Is it really that interesting? It is. When my quad comes and follows you outside of Outpost. Bro, what? Huh? What? Huh? What? What'd you say? I, I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you. Maybe maybe later we will figure it out. My name is Pablo Ortega, and I'm going to a radio base. Awesome. Yeah? Well. Bapo. Can you can you do me one favor, man? Just do me one What's favor. Up, man? Can you say 
cheese for my stream. I said cheese. Oh, awesome. Dude, you're time. a streamer, Come man? Come on. Yeah. Gucci, Gucci, goo. Gucci, awesome, goo. Dude. Come on, say cheese. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I feel a little uncomfortable right now. Say cheese for the 1,300 people watching you. Come on. Please do it. Oh, you have to look at There you go. You have to look at me. There you go. Look. Get me and say cheese. Boop, boop. This is so bizarre. Mm. What is going on, dude? Is he really following me? <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of little you rats. Slide that AK over? Oh my gosh. This is why you never come to outpost with an AK, so bro. This is like a. <laughs> the 1300 viewer streamer. So, there is like a. <laughs> he's like a crackhead, dude. <laughs> the outpost crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do take care of my kids, man. They don't have to work. Yo, hey, eight ball, man. Come here, dude. I got, I got a gift for you, man. Here you go, bro. That's for you, man. Got to take care of your outpost crackheads, bro. See you later. <laughs> After that fun outing, I went to scout for a base location. Ooh, you had some juice. Oh, dude, I just seen your outpost, man. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, I feel kind of bad. All right, man. I'll pick you up. Never mind. Yo, yo, I left some stuff on your body, dude. My bad. Don't, don't shoot, dude. Don't shoot. <laughs> Why do you shoot? I just want to find a good solid spot to build it, man. Oh my god. Eventually, I found a spot in the snow that seemed like the perfect fit for my base. I also got the chance to meet the neighbors. Are you, are you my neighbor? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a guy looking for a place to build. Nah, man. He's looking for somebody to raid. Uh, got anyone to raid? No, no, I just got on the server today. I usually play on a softcore server, so this is my first time on this one. Are you solo? I got one of my friends that plays once in a while. He's on today, but he works, so. Yeah, I'm just looking for a place to build right now. I, I, I need a place to put up my main base, you know? Okay, well, good luck. What's your name? Boppo, Boppo. All right, nice to meet you. I'll see you later. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe the snow. I'm, uh, that's what I'm thinking. But these big bases, dude, they're just absolute chonkers. So I bit the bullet and decided to build there anyways. I did a very compact solo base with a simple shooting floor. I've been told it was scuffed, but I think it's a masterpiece. It is a little scuffed, though. I'm not going to lie. Starter base is done. Let's get it. I then researched garage door and moved the rest of the loot over. And then I made some final touches to the roof. Okay, we're up and running. All that's left to do is just make this a compound and do, a, do some honeycomb. After that, I went for a quick roam. Then I heard what sounded like was an auto turret. So I investigated. Is that, is it, I think that's a raid. It's gotta be a raid, right? Dude, what is going on? What is this race base? <laughs> I noticed that the raid base looked a little scuffed, so I was curious if this guy was friendly or not. Uh, hey man. I'm trying to eco raid this guy, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, what's your name? I I, I realize it now. It's, it's Ganja guy. <laughs> uh, the guy I'm raiding, trying to raid, his name's Prodigy. But honestly, now since I can see where his base is, it's all fucking high quality. I don't, I don't think I have enough. I yeah. Only have 20, 22 rockets. It's a pretty big base. Think that's enough. Uh, I mean, it should be. Uh, how, how, how many rockets is it for an armored door? Uh, it's like four, I think. I mean, hey man, are you, uh, you got any teammates on? Nah, I'm a solo player, man. Bro, for real? Yeah, dude. Invite me, man, I'm solo. I'm not even in a group. Are you actually solo? <laughs> if you want, you can help. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's why, that's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to eco-rape. So, man, if you, uh, <laughs> if you want, man, you want to, you want to fucking help? We're, we're, yeah, we're split the shit. Fuck yeah, let's you. do it, bro. And with that weird yet intriguing interaction, I met my fourth friend on the server, Ganja Guy. He seemed pretty new to the game, so I was definitely down to help him get his revenge raid on this big base. I'm not gonna pull out my gun. Nothing like that. I'm just gonna depot. Nah, you're good. I'll depot on this the box right here. The, the one on the left. All right, sweet. Mind if I place down a bag? Yeah, go ahead. Here, 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 here. Oh, wait, you don't have any. <laughs> There's no claw. It's all good. Right, I'm gonna phone kill real quick. So, the plan was for me to go and get HV rockets so we could boom out the turrets and then actually start raiding. This is armor. 
somewhere. I'm thinking that's in the shot. core. I mean, Howard's gun. If you're good at it, let's go. Whatever you think. Uh, I got a 4K. Oh, yeah, I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, we can just hit it in the armor, but we're just gonna have to worry about that turret on the left and right. I think we've hit some loot, although I'm not sure. Hey, I got two satchels. Yeah, it's hard to get close to it. There's also one on the right. It's broken. All right, Brody, come on through. Check out some of this loot. I'm not gonna pick up anything. Oh, some, some GP on the ground. It's all good. Oh, look, look under this, Brody. Look at this. Oh, these guys are loaded. Ganja was kind enough to give me some of his score since I helped him raid the base. Now, this base was disgustingly loaded. It had a box of boom, box of comps, and a box of tier 3 guns. All the stuff you could have wanted in a raid. However, I only took the metal frags and some of the comps. I wasn't really in need of the other stuff. We then scavenged the remains of the base, and that was that. Ganja explained to me that the base we just raided were his enemies for the entire wipe, and they had offlined him multiple times. With that, it was time to say goodbye to my mysterious friend that I had just met. Yo, bro, thanks for letting me help you out. Appreciate it, man. I really do. Hey, no, no problem, man. If you're playing Pickles next server, we should play together. I'm gonna send you a friend request on Steam. All right, bro. I love you, man. Peace. And with that, my time with Ganja Guy was over. I did some base renovations and hopped off. When I logged back in, Ganja Boy was missing from my team, which I was a little bit sad about, but moving on. My neighbors were online, so I decided to talk to them for a bit. Yo, what's up? You home? It's me, Bapo. We talked yep. yesterday. Hey, hey, yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. You know, uh, has anything happened in the past day or two? No, not at all, really. I, I moved like up from the hill. Yeah, I'm like living in that tower. Like, talking about the one that's missing a wall. Yeah, it's uh like up here. Yeah, I was say I was up in farm. You talking about the one that's missing a wall right now? Uh, kind of. It's like kind of a tower. Wait, I'm, I'm anonymous dog. If you just see me around, you know. All right, sweet. I'll see you guys. After that friendly talk, I did some more upgrades to my insane base. But while going to do more renovations, I ran into who I thought were my neighbors. Hey, guys. What the hell, dude? I thought it was my friends, man. I don't even know what to take, bro. Oh, my God, dude. Buddy's still there. I just want to build my base. It's little rats, man. Oh, they broke my build up. It's just, oh, boy. <sighs> After depoing all of the enemy's loot, I ran into my nice neighbors. You took my buddy out. I'm sorry. No, you were shooting at me earlier too, but that's alright. Yeah, all right. my it's bad. All right. I, was, I was getting attacked by these clan guys. Yeah, shoot, shoot now, ask questions later. Yeah, I sorry. It. I mean, what did you guys lose? I can reimburse you. Tommy, he said. All right, I'll bring you down. Thank you. Careful, can you just check around my base? Because there, there's probably a camper. Probably one rat camping. I don't see anybody yet. Oh, right here. Yeah. Right here, right here, right here on me, on me. Oh, my bad. Wait, is, is I'm your friend? Your, your friend? Or? No, 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 he's not our friend. He's not our friend. Oh, you're not the Guy up top yet. is. I'm your fan. Kill him. There you go. Yeah. You can take his gear set, too. Here you go. Thank you. Bro, I can't get in my pace. God damn. Oh, my God. I then heard some shots in the distance, so I went roaming with the neighbors. Oh, oh let me leave my team. Killed one. This one's headshot close. That is a big-ass base. God damn. Sweet. Bradley was being taken, so I went to counter, and I brought my neighbors as well for their first ever Bradley fight. Where are they? They're like hiding. That game, uh, that was, ugh. Uh, there's another. He's like hiding in like a building or something. Oh, look at that guy. Oh yeah. Now you good, bro. Take what you want. 
Ooh, I'm gonna take that L9 if that's full. Uh, you yeah. take the rest. You take the rest. Don't tell you. I, I insist that you do. What are you shooting at, man? What are you shooting at, man? We got him! Yeah. Ooh, I like your kit. The Bradley run was a major success. We made it out with at least six extra kits plus Bradley loot. That gave my neighbors the snowball that they needed. After that, my neighbors had hopped off and I wanted to do a raid with all the boom I currently had. But first I went to go get a mini copter. <laughs> Dude, this thing actually moves pretty quickly on grass or on dirt, I guess. I'm not going to lie. Oh, well, there goes that. It's been a pleasure, Snowmobile. Catch you on the flip side, man. Mini acquired. After getting back home, I sealed up my compound and placed down large furnaces. I did some organizing, then I headed out to go find a raid. Oh, come on, man. <gasps> Dude, this base is massive. I'm gonna do some exploring. Holy Moses. I'm not sure if they're online, but... I kind of want to, <laughs> I kind of want to land on this tower. Wait, the frame is twig. No way. Oh, fuck. This is definitely not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, they're rocking my mini copter. I'm good. I'm dead, dude. Peek me again. All right, we'll do this. Look at this. <laughs> I think they're still shooting on a mini copter. And there's not even anything in there. So many ladders. They're rocketing. Okay, looks like it's go time. I waited till night fell to make a last chance at escaping. It all was riding on this. Bro, what? It was short-lived. At least I took over their max building height tower though. After that, things winded down. I went gambling, which didn't work out. Please just give me a W. <laughs> and I also raided a decayed base, which did work out. But these things were starting to feel stale. So I had an idea to spice things up a bit. A massive 100 man rock fighting arena. I bagged in my friend Fancy Orb to help build. You got, a, you got an arctic suit for me? I'm yeah, cold. I do. Here you go. Here's cold. your kit. You're gonna get lots of kills today, Confusion. The plan was to head west on the map to build the rock fighting arena by the beach. We would farm on the way there. Oh my god, I'm cracked. Oh my god. Fuck, I didn't even do anything. He had 12 MLRSs. Do we depot this? Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, back home, back home, back home, back home, back home, back home, man. Back home. After depoting, we were able to make our way over to the beach. Oh shit, what the fuck? We decided on what seemed like a nice quiet spot on the beach. This will be like the TC room. Although there were a couple of bases around, which I wasn't all that worried about. Until... Okay, that's not good. From like the tower? Oh, the guy outside the... Double the roof, he's dead. Oh, he's coming outside, he's coming outside the gate. I'm dead. Stop it, okay? Triple dummy's dead. Oh, I'm dead. This back and forth between this seemingly random compound was only because we tried to build an arena right next to them. Which I guess in Rust language is an act of war. Yo, neighbor, is that you fucking with us? Because if so, I'm gonna level your fucking house right now. They raided our little 1x2 we set up by their base, and they were really toxic. After it was all said and done, the raiders had this one last thing to say. Wait, is this Ganja? Who is this? Who is it? Who are you? He never responded after that.
but I was 99% certain it was Ganja Guy. I never thought that my new enemy would be my random friend I met all those days ago. Anyways, he was lying about being solo and he had other teammates. Fight me, man. I'm solo. I'm not even in a group. But I knew for a fact I wanted revenge. So I told Fancy that we'd do the Rock Arena another time. But for now, I had to farm sulfur. A lot of sulfur. I accumulated just shy of over 100,000 sulfur. I did a couple of quick raids in my area, but now it was time for the big raid. When it was ready to go, I bagged in my friends Blazed and Lucky Llama to assist on this revenge raid. Dude, imagine dying to that username. You're just missing a couple of X's. I was thinking instead of the G word, it's gonna be bandit. So uh, give us the backstory, what? Man, there's a lot of, okay, so. Late, what, like, it was like Thursday night or something. I, I, I was running around, uh, some guy was raiding a base. So I helped him raid the base. Uh, he thanked me for it, he gave me some guns, some uh, metal frags. I was off on my way. We we're pretty good friends after that. He was like, yeah, let's play a wipe together. And he, he was a pretty cool dude. And then me and Fancy are trying to make an arena. And he and he comes he comes and kills us. Yeah, it's a little messed up. And then he starts trash talking us. And uh, yeah, I know where he lives. I want to get some, uh, some sweet revenge. All right, perfect. But when Blaze and I went to go scout for the base, Things took a turn for the worse. All these bases look rolled. I think you're. Your oh boys no. Are, are they metal? Right? <laughs> yeah, they get raided. Potentially. I want to come take a look at this. My enemies had been rolled by a clan nearby. Karma, I guess? Blaze then got into a fight, so I ran over to help out. Holy Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Ah! 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 Is that you? Oh! oh. Dead. I'm running up naked. Get your body. Get your body, there, dog. Get your me. fucking body. Oh. Dude. I'm pushing in. There is fucking boxes of, here, here. like, just dog. Yeah, I have no clue where the fuck they are. Oh my god. Oh my. Look, look at these fucking blue bags, dude. <laughs> we caught the bag, dog. Blazed and I both died, so when we ran back, they had already sealed. But they still had a minicopter outside. I had nothing. Distract, distract. <laughs> no. Tripled his oh, ass no! off the I'm shit, pushing, pushing. dude! Dude, he has M2. I'm, yeah, I, M2. I gotta get out of here, man. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yo, dude. After profiting that many, we took a quick Bradley and went exploring. Oh my god, I just see a sleeper just full metal. Wait, wait. Is that farm based decay? Oh wait, these two turrets are off in the front. Dude, I'm all their nice. all their doors are open. When we actually got into the base, it seemed like they had despawned. Maybe they just despawned? No way, dude. Although their lockers were absolutely full to the brim. Sure. Although there was one more secret this base was holding. There was two sleepers who had a total of 12 M2s, which is actually ridiculous. Four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, loot wasn't necessary to me, so we did a quick all-in raid, which was a big bust. Hey! Ooh, hey, yeah. Yay! Wait, wait, don't spoil it, don't spoil it, don't spoil what's in there. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> At this point, the challenge was beginning to feel repetitive, but I was almost there, so I couldn't give up. Lucky if you kill him, you get a skin. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Since Fancy was also on, it was time to build the 100-man rock fighting arena. We opted for a different spot on the beach this time. Oh my god, one guy's got a full metal. What the fuck? Oh, I think he looted a body that's... I had leaked the server to my viewers. It was time for the ultimate rock fighting tournament. Whoever wins the most rock fights in a row wins a skin. You win a skin if you win the most in a row. Or you could also call it chaos. Yeah, it was... It was straight chaos. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Win. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, next contestant in. Go, go. Get the go. Get the go. Get the fight. Get the fight. Go. Get the fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, that's two. That's two. That's two. The rock fights then went on for another 20 minutes or so, but it was time for the all in rock fight with everyone. Don't mind the FPS. The last oh, one alive inside wins. Wins the skin. Whoever's whoever's the last one inside wins the skin. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wait, wait. Oh, we have to close the door. We have to close the door. That's, all right, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Oh. 
I'm going for my close life. Close it, close it, close it. I close it. Go, get back, get back. Quick, quick, quick. Fancy, get back, quick. I'm fighting for my life. Go, 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 Fancy, go, go. come on. I'm in. Ah, I'm coming. Fancy. I'm coming. Ah. Go. Ah. Get back. All right, here we go. Oh, my Who's God. Who's going to be the last one to win so it? Scary. Who's going to be the last one to win it? Here we go. Come on. Oh, who's gonna win it? Who's gonna win it? Oh my gosh, you killed him with a spear! <gasps> Wait, is that it? Is that fine? Is it finally over? Doctor Perky. Dude? Oh, Wait, no, there's oh, more people oh, my oh my gosh, dude! Oh, you just bled out. We don't T have a winner. T four Dave's won, and he asked if if he can kiss me. The rock fighting tournament was interesting. But moving on, I bagged in my friend Koala, the best minicopter pilot in Rust. You got an M2? God damn. I got like a row, my boy. I'd spend my last couple of days of the challenge with him. But first, we needed to get a minicopter. All right, what are you thinking? I'm thinking five. Put it on five, baby. Let's go five, baby. I'm feeling lucky. I had put all of our scrap on five. It was all riding on this. Oh! No! no! Hopefully make our scrap back to buy a mini. We countered a raid. Oh. 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 He's dead. Nice. <laughs> Correct. Well. There's another. All right. Go. Bro, I froze. I headshot double body. I killed him. Sheesh. Bro. Oh my God. What? Let's go, baby W. We recycled our spoils and did a little bit more gambling responsibly this time. I think. No, bro. It also seemed our little rock fighting tournament gained a lot of notoriety on the server. Somebody MLRS them, and then like 80 naked spawned on the fucking beach. Naked. Raid the yeah. server from his stream, and then like showed. That up. was crazy, dude. Sorry, I was there. Boxes. I was. I was sniping people. We had to fucking yeah, move. I hated that guy. I hate that guy, bro. Yeah, like it's supposed to be a four man, and I'm getting swarmed by a fucking army. Yeah, we almost lost a bunch of rockets. Because of all the fucking nakeds that were showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say naked for me again? Can you just naked? say naked for me again? Yeah. yeah, I know. Everybody says that. Wait, do you know yeah, the Twitch yeah. streamer's name? I want to look him up. Uh, I don't have it, but my buddy has... Uh, he looked at the stream. I didn't bother looking at it. Since we saved 750 scrap, we were finally able to purchase a minicopter. So, we went exploring. His name is Koala. He has a... um. He's a real big bottle. Koala. And he, <laughs> li and he likes to swallow. Uh, hey, yo. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, um, uh, Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 yeah. We heard another raid nearby, so we went to go check it out. Yeah, right there. You see him? There's 130, 130. Bro, you're just going for it, eh? Hell yeah, brother. Killed one. Four times on one. You keep him pinned down there. I'm gonna fly up in the minicopter. Dead, dead, dead. One dead, one dead. Hold nice, down. nice. Three times on one. Four times on one dead, one dead. I, I think I downed both. But there, there, one might have gone. There's one picked. left, one yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This guy. Dead one. He did. Let's go. Oh, he's Let's down. Go. Oh my gosh. After that successful counter, Koala and I decided to do some mini tricks. I'm gonna try to flip, flip through the little fucking opening. It's death, death-defying maneuver. Here I go. Oh, yo, you cracked. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ram battle. No, no, no. I'm all right. I'm all right. I was kidding. 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 Koala then wanted to do some tricks on oil, so we cleared it and got to tricking. Trick, tricking. Is that a word? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? It's kind of hard in the dark. I can't really see the distances, but. Uh oh. I guess that's <laughs> Clip that one. Clip that one out of the recording, bro. Clip that out of the recording. I want you to try to shine your flashlight continuously on the edge of the helipad so I can see. Oh, right, you got it? Whoa. Woo! Woo! Yeah, woohoo! I love mini flying. All right, we're gonna try another one. All right, all right. Ooh, oh, man. Oh, doggy. Liggity split, yo. Oh shit! Oh, hey, we recovered damn. though. We We're recovered. HP. We got 200 HP. Step up for this one. This one's too dangerous. You're gonna stand right here. You're gonna watch. All right. 
Ooh. 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 Oh. Ah. So we're going to tap our back tire on this little knob and hopefully we don't die. All right. Oh, we, we missed. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to. Uh, oh. 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 Come on. <laughs> After that final crash, I decided to call it a wipe. Then and there, my 100 days were now over. This is final goodbyes to our base. We've been through a lot together and, you know, it's been a, it's been a wild ride, boys. With our scuffed base, we've made many friends along the way and many enemies. But I think with that, peace out, boys.